India has made tremendous strides in launch vehicle technology to achieve self-reliance in satellite launch vehicle program with the operationalism of polar satellite launch vehicle and geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. The Indian Space Research Organization's expendable PSLV has enjoyed a steady and successful business run with medium lift launches for nearly two decades. All of ISRO's currently operational launch vehicles, the PSLV, GSLV MK2, and GSLV MK3, are based on modular expendable architecture, where none of the modules, that is, boosters and the other three or four stages, can be reused. Attempts to reduce the cost of satellites and launch vehicles and allow them to carry heavier payloads are being explored through the use of miniaturized avionics, advanced electronics and electronic propulsion system, among other mechanisms. As of now, India is quite competitive with regard to the prevailing global launch cost. So far, India has launched 209 satellites of nano, micro, mini, and standard size for 28 countries. ISRO's low prices and its high success rate have attracted foreign clients. While a satellite launch on Arian Space's rocket costs about more than $100 million after subsidies and SpaceX will charge $60 million. In contrast, ISRO charged an average $3 million per satellite between 2013 and 2015. There is a global move to reduce the cost of access to space to the tune of one-tenth of the prevailing one. India is also working towards that too. The Indian Space Research Organization is fully prepared to compete in the global race to cut the cost of launching satellites. For this, India is developing a new generation rocket that would cut satellite launch cost by half, boosting low-cost access to space. Over the years, ISRO realized the need of fifth-generation launch vehicles. SLV-3, RSLV, PSLV, GSLV, and GSLV MK3 to cater to national development needs. This has enabled ISRO to develop and master critical technologies related to solid, liquid and cryogenic propulsion system, in addition to navigation, guidance, control and mission design aspects of launch vehicles. To cater to emerging global small satellite launch services market, ISRO has taken up the development of small satellite launch vehicle, which is an all-solid three-stage vehicle, which will drastically reduce price and higher launch rate as compared to polar satellite launch vehicle. Small satellite launch vehicle is a three-stage all-solid vehicle and has a capability to launch up to 500 kg satellite mass into 500 km low Earth orbit and 300 kg to Sun synchronous orbit. The biggest advantage of ISRO is, now it can manufacture these vehicles in a turnaround time of just three weeks. Apart from the capability to launch up to 500 kg of satellite mass, the SSLV will have the option of multiple satellite mounting options for nano, micro and small satellites. The vehicle would help in reduced turnaround time launch, on-demand cost optimization for realization and operation flexibility, in accommodating multiple satellites, minimum launch infrastructure requirements heritage of proven design practices. ULV The next generation, ULV is ISRO's effort at unifying their launch vehicles. With the ULV, they plan to have a single vehicle, with many different stages, from which a few can be chosen, to form a vehicle based on the requirements of the payload. This way, they will be able to cover the full spectrum of payload requirements, with a single vehicle which can be put together as required. It will reduce manufacturing and various other cost of launch, along with making the vehicle more powerful for heavier lifting than current vehicles are. ULV will be a series of three to four expendable launch types and will feature common liquid semi-cryogenic core as the first stage with variable fuel loading capabilities for all of its variants. The second stage will be equipped with a cryogenic stage, which will be highly configurable, thus having the ability to satisfy various payload requirements of customers. The vehicle will mate solid propellant strap on boosters of different variations for the boost phase. 
Various of these boosters are used in PSLV, GSLV MK2, and GSLV MK3. Hence, by adjusting the fuel and power levels of the stages and boosters, a single launch vehicle can be used to launch various payload mass, thus, eliminating the requirement to have multiple launch vehicles, this is the sole aim of the ULV project. The smallest variant of the ULV uses 6S13 boosters and has a launch mass of 274 tons. The payload capacity is 1.5 tons to geosynchronous transfer orbit and 4.5 tons to low Earth orbit. The second variant uses 2S60 boosters and has a launch mass of 340 tons. The payload of which is 3 tons to geosynchronous transfer orbit or 10 tons to low Earth orbit. The third variant uses 2S138 booster and has a launch mass of 560 tons. The payload is 4.5 tons to GTO and 12 tons to low Earth orbit. The most powerful variant is to use the S200 booster of GSLV MK3 and has a launch mass of 700 tons. The payload is 6 tons to GTO and 15 tons to low Earth orbit. HLV. The Indian Space Research Organization is developing a series of heavy lift launch vehicles capable of lifting satellites up to 10 tons into the orbit. To keep development costs under control, ISRO have adopted a modular approach to the design of the HLV. A heavy lift variant of the unified launcher capable of placing up to 9-ton class of spacecrafts into geosynchronous transfer orbit, which would include a larger dual S-250 solid strap on boosters, as compared to the S-200 boosters used in LVM-3. A semi-cryogenic core stage, similar to LVM-3, with SCE-200 engine. A semi-cryogenic third stage, with a new CE-50 engine. A new fourth stage with cryogenic C-10 engine. ISRO is toying with the idea of adding a semi-cryogenic stage to the GSLV MK3 to generate a lift up to 6 tons. A more powerful cryo upper stage is expected to add the required muscle to handle satellites up to 10 tons. RLV RLV, or Reusable Launch Vehicle, is one of the most technologically challenging endeavors of ISRO towards developing essential technologies for a fully reusable launch vehicle to enable low-cost access to space. With RLVTD launch, ISRO took a step towards several cutting-edge projects, winged body flight, scramjet propulsion, re-entry of winged craft etc., a commendable effort by ISRO. Right now, RLV is in such a nascent phase, that one cannot predict the ultimate outcome of the project. One cannot say, it is good to embark on such ambitious missions or not. The RLV project is good for the following reasons. It can give ISRO the ability to launch and land backwing body crafts, which can be used for humans or cargo. They can be proven economical depending on the level of reusability. Scramjet propulsion, if tested and flown successfully, can give rise to immense possibilities, including fully reusable, two-stage to orbit. Reusability, re-entry, hypersonic experiments on this craft, can prove useful, for many types of future missions. The scenario of reusable missions, has changed over the last decade. When, RLV was conceptualized, shuttle was still flying, and SpaceX wasn't born. Shuttle has been decommissioned, on account of costly refurbishing, and Falcon 9 is celebrating its first stage landing, paving the way to fully reusable rockets. RLV and ISRO have a greater challenge at hand, if they are going to pursue this project, for reusability and to bring down launch costs, then, they have to do something different, to not repeat Shuttle.